Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA, and this is my 2019 Casita. And some of you have asked to see the inside, and I'll show it to you now. It's fairly squared away, and it's also cold and rainy here in Central Texas right now. It's about 45 degrees, so I'm going to kind of get out of the cold and go inside. First trick is getting in. <laughs> I'm six foot one, and the doorway's about five foot eight. But anyway, you come right on in, and on the right-hand side, there's a, a place to hang some clothes. I'll get back to it in a minute, but let me get inside and close this door behind me. The bathroom door has, as you can see, a little towel rack on it. That's the shower door, the bathroom door. And so since we've got that door there, we'll start off there. That's my little teak wood thing that I added on the floor. There's a little storage right there, and that is some uh, kitty litter. And the reason there's one there and one there is because this one is about empty and I bought another one. But yeah, there's plenty of storage in there. The only downside is it's not sealed real well. And when you take a shower, sometimes it gets water in there. So you have to be aware of that if you get a new RV here, a new uh, casita. Anyway, there's some storage in the front for, you know, like uh, shampoo and stuff and whatever you want to use. I mean, those are some chem, chem wipes that I use when I'm camping sometimes. There's a little vent here. And what you do, you, you pull this handle down or you push it up to open it okay and then there's a little push button there that turns on a fan exhaust fan and it really does a good job exhausting uh, this this restroom area and that's a foot flush toilet and there's a little rack beside it there's a uh, light back there you can see behind the shower curtain i just wrapped the the uh, shower curtain around this vent pipe i've seen people do that and it works quite well and that's a little window there that opens and lets fresh air in whenever you need it. But it's too cold outside today, so obviously it's closed. So anyway, that's the shower. Now we'll close the shower door, or put almost to. I've got a towel in the way there. Anyway, now I'll show you. I, I, put, I put that there, the little hanger for my keys and stuff. Because that way if I go outside and forget my keys, I can reach back in and get them without having to come all the way back inside. And what else? Uh, ta -ta 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 oh, there's a night light that I added right here. And of course, you know, I've got the doormats and all that stuff. And then we'll open this up. And this, yeah, this is all my clothes right there, all my hanging clothes. And then on this side right here, this is just a little uh, a hanging foot storage thing for closets. And I keep t-shirts, underwear, and all kind of stuff in it. But below that, there's actually a lot of storage right down there. I mean, I've got uh, some stuff down there. Uh, got the bucket of honor down there and some batteries and stuff i mean there's plenty of room to put more stuff if i choose to and i keep my paper towels there for right now because i haven't figured out where else to keep an extra roll of paper towels and what else can i show you got of course they got a big mirror here and there's haystack might just call my hair then i'll get back over here and this is a swivel chair number one and i've got some little ons and ends in there that i usually keep on the table i mean it's, it's just stuff i mean you know i've got a of course my sunglasses are in there i've got some post-it notes and there's my hairbrush because i haven't figured out a place to put it yet but i will and that's my dirty clothes bag there and that's my walking shoes there and that's guess who you know who that is and then of course there's some storage above the top here they're not the great biggest things in the world but they work okay you know you can see this will give you an idea how big they are this is a, a, a you know body powder or whatever baby powder and uh, you know you can see you couldn't you can't stand it up because it's not tall enough and it's not deep enough to turn that way so that's why it's at an angle uh there's some toilet paper there and then some cream there and it's so that's kind of a miscellaneous thing and uh, what else uh there's the google home device that's a little temperature thing i love that little thing because it's very very accurate those little balls go up and uh, you know at, at certain degree temperature and they work amazingly well uh, what else? That's the other. That's the one I sit in right there. That's my sitting spot. Uh, that right there is just a little FM, uh, or not FM. It's a uh, Bluetooth speaker that ties in with my smartphone because that's all the. Uh, that's all I do. I just use my smartphone for. I don't have a television at all. No TV at all. I just use my smartphone for everything. And of course, you got a four cubic foot refrigerator here, and I'll open it in just a minute. And then over here, this would be where the uh, uh, microwave oven goes. This right here, this is above the refrigerator. There's a nice little area here for uh, preparing food and doing stuff. And thank God it's there. And anyway, then you can open that up and you can see I got all kinds of stuff in here. This is a, uh, I can't remember what it is. It's, uh, 
Brita water filter thing, a pitcher filter. I was going to get one that fit, you know, fits on the faucet or our faucet mount, but the problem with the faucet mount, I'll show you in a minute. It, well, I'll show you now, might as well before I forget. I have these tall water bottles right here, and, and if you get one of those faucet mount things, you can't get that bottle up under there to fill it up. So anyway, and then up in there, I've got my air popper and paper towels, and there's some oatmeal and stuff. So there's a lot of room in there, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of room. And then uh, this is a this is just blank, okay. And then this opens up, and then you've got more storage in there. I've got some dishes and bags and stuff, and my tea, my green tea. And then of course I got a vent hood, and you know there's storage down here. There's the kitchen sink, just a single uh, stainless steel sink, works great for me. And there's a you know place to hang some pot holders and stuff. And uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, you know, there's a little store. That rack came with the RV. That's kind of a, a seasonings rack, and it's fine. It's up to great for me. Of course, you got a vent hood, storage above. I'll show you. I'll show you all of it. And this is where I put my dish and stuff. I don't have one of those utensil holders yet, but I'll get one maybe. You know, if I don't need it, I won't. Uh, anyway, down here, there's some storage right now. I just got some pots and pans down in there because what happens is you got all this space here. See, you've got you've got a foot. A cubic foot of space right here that's wasted so I'm gonna have to figure out how to uh, you know some kind of a way to utilize that and the same way on the other side here you know you got I've just got that down there look at all that vacant space above it okay a lot of vacant space don't think old Rusty won't figure that out so and this is the 12 for the switch for the 12 volt pump water pump and what else oh this is a two burner cooktop and this is the cover it just lifts up, you know, it just lifts up like that. It doesn't go all the way over, okay? It just, it goes to right here. And the good part about it is several things. Number one, here's where you hook it right here. This little thing just goes into a hole on top of this. Over here, it goes into a hole right in here. And what else? Okay, I'll show you the storage up here too. Yeah, I just got, again, just miscellaneous stuff. You know, I put vinegar and, uh, and uh, olive oil on salads, and so I got, that's what goes there and just miscellaneous stuff this is where they had the paper towels originally uh because this came this came this came with the rv uh, the only problem is if you got a roll of toilet uh, toilet paper uh, paper towels when you close this it fills up that whole space so rather than do that i'll put paper towels somewhere else so what else uh let me see oh this is the bed right here it's just got a little one and a half inch pad on it right now and that's probably all i'm going to use and you can see back here the pad's too long, and I thought about cutting it off or something, but I'm not gonna worry about it. It works fine for me. Uh, this is a little night table over here, that's mine. And I just put this, these little hangers here uh, just yesterday just to see how they'd work. And they, you know, they kind of come in handy, I guess. They hold some stuff. I, I just put some stuff on there to see uh, how it would work. And then, of course, you got the big windows all the way around, which is great. And the head of the bed actually is supposed to be, is, it's designed for the head of the bed to be down here. So why did you put it on the, why did you put the head of the bed the other way, Rusty? Well, two reasons. One, I got a great view out this window and this window, which is very nice because I can sit, lay right here and look out this window and the stars are right up there. Pretty nice, huh? And also you have a little bedside table at night right here. You know, there's your, my water bottle. I've got my notepad in case I think of something I want to write down. And uh, what else? You know, I got my little Kleenex things there, and there's some uh, uh, wasp spray that I always keep by the bed in case I can't get to the mind changer. And what else? You know, so I've got some cover out now that I don't normally have that, because it's cool here. It's 45. It was, it was supposed to be about 40 in the morning. And so that little blue blanket and that little comforter will do all I need to do. Is the bed comfortable, Rusty? Yes, it is. That right there is a horseshoe, a real old horse horseshoe, okay? And here's another one of those small storage deals here. And in this one, I just kind of made a medicine cabinet miscellaneous thing. You know, I've got some old cell phones here, maps and stuff. And, uh, you know, that's about it. I've uh, got some of uh, that wound seal. You know, if you ever, if you're going to go camping, take some of that with you because that stuff works like a charm if you have a deep cut. Or, well, not really deep, but a, a cut that's uh, bleeding profusely, you can seal it pretty quick with that. So, anyway. And then up here, this is uh, more like clothes storage up here. And uh, it's got a lot of, I still got a lot of space. I got two pair of shorts and some earmuffs and I don't know, some long pants and some long sleeve t-shirts and stuff like that. And that's a mirror I bought and that thing has hung around my neck like an albatross. I paid good money for it because it magnifies on one end and then the regular, the other side's normal. But the reason I bought it was so when I was camping, I could see the shave, okay? 
and now I don't need that because I got a big old full length mirror. But anyway, have I thrown it away? No. And then there's more stuff over here. This is just some books and some old flashlights. And my Kindle reader is right here. Why? Because when I lay down in bed, I can reach up in here and get my, when I lay down in bed, I can reach up here and get my Kindle reader with my hand. How about that? Hmm? And again, this makes a really nice little bedside table for laying in the evenings or nighttime and doing whatever. What else is on in here I want to show you or can show you? Uh, these things, if you want to really something that keeps the temperature accurately, these little things here, you've seen them with the little floating balls. They're not very expensive. And of course, that's my crystal ball and that's the Google Home. I've already said that. Uh, what else? Uh, that's my little heater right there. It's on low and I've even got, I've even got it on low, low. And it's 45 outside and right now on the inside it is, I'll tell you correctly. Uh, what do you say, Rusty? 67, 68 in that range, okay? Fine with old dad. Anyway, I uh, got in a case emergency thing there. And this is the fridge. Notice uh, the priority items. I say the priority items. And yeah, I've got a full stock. I mean, I just went to the grocery store, so I'm, I'm fully stocked. Nice little thing up here for freezer space. Got plenty of freezer space. I'm using about a third of it right now. And so, uh, what else can I tell you about the inside? Not much other than, other than what? Oh, there's the greatest thing since fried chicken right here. That is an automatic max air, max fan, 10 speed. You push the on button and it automatically, you know, the, the outside lid lifts up and the fan cuts on. And then of course it'll bring air in or it'll push air out, either way, either way, pull air out. And uh, yeah, you just set the speed from one to 10 and you're good to go. It also has a way to set a little thermostat, but I'm not gonna fool with that. Uh, you can manually override the uh, automatic feature if, if it doesn't work uh, by using that. Anyway, of course, we've got smoke detect detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, and all that stuff. And so, guys, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. So from Central Texas in my 2019 Casita Freedom Deluxe with a swivel chairs. This is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye-bye buy anything you want but if you think about it use the link to amazon products in the description of all of my videos why because i get a small commission and it does not cost you one penny so what else uh drink plenty of water three or four quarts a day won't hurt you uh, it's actually good for you it'll help you avoid gout kidney stones and it'll help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and what else uh Take deep breaths, breathe in deeply, hold it for a few seconds, breathe out slowly. Why? Because that will help you uh, lower stress and that lowers your blood pressure. It's very good for you. What else? Uh, stretch, 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 walk, walk, walk. I actually did that today. I went to the grocery store and did my stretches and my walking because I don't like to miss a single day. What else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Uh, don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. So. What else? Uh, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and uh, I'll post this video uh, probably tomorrow. But anyway, guys, thumbs up. Adios. And this is the inside tour of my 2019 Casita Freedom Deluxe. Adios, amigos.